brothers welcome to trade conquest this is a game that i have just been playing out of my mind it is not available yet there is a demo on steam it will be featured in steam's next fest so if you like the game and you think it's going in a great direction which i do highly recommend trying out the demo and wish listing on steam really helps the developer out a lot the developer was kind enough to give me a developer key so my game may look different than yours also understand that this game is not finished so there are some features that are not in the game yet and obviously there's some bugs and stuff that come along with that but let's go ahead and play and i will show you how this game is different now the biggest thing about this game is you don't start off as the head of a, a country you start off as a entrepreneur in that country and i love that so to start off with we have avatars each avatar comes with their own bonus so you can see the builder starts with cheaper percent uh, upgrading for buildings you can do the trader which gets five more percent from sales the oil tycoon which starts off with drilling technology we are going to start off as the builder leveling of buildings is 25 percent cheaper okay now to start off in the game you get to pick which country you want to be involved in i'm going to go in a little bit of a conflict zone where some fun stuff could happen and we're going to go straight into iraq now we're going to look around here and find a place where we can build and there's a couple things we're gonna to need to know about where to build and how to build so first off we'll go through the maps you have the political map which just to let you know the territory once you pick your country you are locked into that territory until you can buy a trade agreement with another country here is our investment map mode this will let you know which places you have investments in it'll be highlighted in yellow we have our climate map mode just to let you kind of know where can be where things can grow effectively the political map leaning which is uh more for when you become a world leader the unrest map mode is very important. You can see there are a number of these places that are red. If we try and build in a place that is red, there's a lot of times where we'll build something and then the contractor will just take the money and run. Now we can counter that by investing in security. Each county has these four upgrade tiers, which affects the county and you as the investor. So you can see that there's highway product or highway projects and cargo trains which increases in sales we can invest in police to bring up the security we can invest in our personal research which we'll talk about here in a second and our warehouse which is how much goods we can store and then lastly just to finish things up is the labor population map the markets map which lets you know which market you're in because when you're selling your goods you, you could sell to your market you could sell to a number of different markets this will be available once we pick our country the war map mode and the topographical map so we're going to stick in political for the time being and we are going to find a place close to the capital. The closer that you are to the capital, the better trade goods you get. And ideally, we'd love to find a place that already has a highway installed. But that doesn't look like it. The only place is the capital. But if we go back to our unrest mode, the capital is red. And we don't really want to be investing in police right off from the start. So let's go ahead and go up to here. This is a great region because we can grow grapes and oranges here. Grapes and oranges are pretty cheap themselves, but honestly, we're going to stick away from that for a minute and go down here where we have available land to build. And we are going to look for a little bit of meat products that we can sell. This is a perfect one. We love selling cattle. Cattle sells for a lot. So let's go ahead and buy a number of cattle products here. Now you can see here, this is the purchase cost. The green one is how much it's going to cost you. Our number of golds at the top. The second is the production value, how fast it does produce, then base value, which you can sell it for, and monthly maintenance. Now, with each thing you build, you will incur more monthly maintenance, which is also influenced by your country's taxes and the inflation. The higher those numbers go, the more you spend on maintenance. So let's go ahead and build some lots of cattle. And while we're at it, we're going to start building some leather as well. Leather is a little bit more expensive, but that is okay. And that's basically all of our money. So now that we are in this market, the GCC, we can see what the prices are. And there are a lot of different things you can sell, which is a lot of fun. Really love this. So let's go ahead, get some cattle going and get ready to sell everything. Now we want to sell everything in large orders. So we want to get as close to our storage capacity as possible, which is currently 25 down here. We can eventually build some warehouses in the districts that we're in to increase that but for right now 25 is more than enough once we have 25 we can go to one of these markets and sell it now you want to sell it in bulk orders because each little thing you sell will affect the market value so you want to wait for these numbers to be to get as close as you can because as soon as you sell it the the demand is going to drop so right now you can see our monthly allowance or monthly expenses are at the top it'll appear in red right now we don't have anything because we're just building things but the moment these things come online we are going to be in a uh, 
spoiled of her, we're gonna go negative, but we can go all the way down to a negative a thousand before we start to actually lose the game. And these events will pop up. As you can see, sanctions were placed on Russia goods by USA, Canada, and the European Union. So if we started off in Russia, we would not be able to sell to any of those markets. So that would really hurt us there. Right now is the GCC. We can sell to everybody but the BRICS markets. You'll also see that there's a black market, but this is unavailable in the demo version. Okay, and our cattle are online. Now I'm going to go ahead and start leveling these up before we run out of money just to produce more cattle. And that is all of our money. I believe we can't afford another one. No, we cannot. So there's all of our money out the window. We're going to start losing money, as you can see. But that's perfectly fine we'll be able once we have a number of these cattle we can take them to market and sell it for a pretty penny now while this is all going down let's explain how you get research you do that by investing in research for business also social and then military which can be found in this tab right here which gives some nice bonuses like reducing maintenance costs and everything like that once you get all the way down to the bottom the best one though is auto sell once you start producing things in like 100 different verticals auto sell is going to be your friend there Next up is the government tab. We can buy to get into the government tab, which we'll show a little bit later on, which then we can influence policy. We have the global superpowers, which again is not available right now. And then we have the military options, which again, we need money to influence. Right now, we're just a humble businessman making and selling cows. Oh, so the BRICS has expanded their market. So the market, including Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, has admitted four new members, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, and the UAE. That means there's four less people that we can sell to, which is a little bit unfortunate, but could be good if they're also trying to sell cows. Now, our government did go ahead and lower taxes, which is great for us. Our operating costs go down. But when taxes go down, inflation goes up, which can then bite us in the rear later on. Now, the caveat to influencing these two things is you can do that through policy. But if you you can lower inflation by raising taxes, but if you do that, you stop the country's growth. So it is a little bit of a delicate balance here. Inflation is not much to worry about right now. It can go up to like 400% we were playing as. And you can see these events will keep popping up, letting us know where there's demand for certain items. Right now, again, we're just cowboys waiting to get to about 25 cows before we sell. Ooh, the meat diet loses popularity. That's not gonna be good for us. This PP market is no longer gonna be a great option for us in selling our meat, but that's okay. We have plenty of other markets to work for. Okay, we have about 15 cows, so let's take those bad boys to market and find the best price for cow, cattle. So it's 4% there, that's not a very good price. 36 is not great. Oh, no. wow. They really do not want meat at all. That is unfortunate, cattle usually is a good seller. Let's go ahead and sell it here, but as you can see right now, it brings the market price down. We have 77 gold to work with. Let's go ahead and sell our leather as well. Go down to luxury tab. And whenever you're selling, appears purple here. So that is also a nice little feature. Let's see if we can beat 4.7, 6.3, 7.4, 7.54 wins it. We sell that. And we're now at 159. So tier two and tier three and tier four obviously sell for a lot more. They have a higher maintenance cost. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and upgrade the amount of cows we have so that we can upgrade the amount of leather we're producing. And for this region, I'm just going to buy leather, keep everything kind of together here. And now we're gonna go into another county and diversify what we're making. So let's go here. This is a great county here. Does it have highways? It does not, but it's pretty close to the capital. That's always a good thing. And let's figure out what we wanna sell here. Let's see, sheep sell for one. That's actually pretty good. And we can make fabric off of sheep. Let's make some sheep happen. Let's buy sheep. And with the sheep, we are gonna make textile places out of them. Now, the biggest thing is like going, uh, spending as much money as you can right away, letting yourself go into the negative and then bulk selling everything. So we're gonna get that all done. Let's go to another place. This is a great one. It's got five open spaces. Let's see what we can sell here. We can sell chickens. I don't wanna sell chickens. I wanna go up here where I can sell grapes and oranges. Grapes and oranges, you can turn into wine and juices which then you can turn to cocktail and aged wine which sells for a lot oh high unrest in the province we lost our money that's what i was talking about there so if we check the unrest mode it's red there which is unfortunate for us but we do have a good amount of money so let's go ahead and invest in the police there see if that fixes things it does now it's orange so we can build there safely so let's go ahead and buy a couple things of grapes now there's not enough population here for us to build another one but by us investing in this county, in this state, it will bring more people to the area because they have, there's not more jobs here, which will eventually open that one up. So for this one, we're just gonna build wine over here. And since we have a little bit extra money, we're gonna buy some aged. You know what? We'll save the tier three until we have a little bit more money. We'll just invest in tier one stuff. Come back here. And what did we wanna build here? 
We can't build a number of these things, like mining is a technology we have to unlock later. So we'll just go ahead and settle for chickens. Now you want to diversify what you're selling because if you only are selling one thing, you'll quickly dry up every market. So for this, I'm going to buy feathers because I know they turn into pillows, which sell for a lot, and then amino acids, which will turn into something very nice once we unlock pharmaceutical. Now we'll save the rest of our money for when these things are done so we can upgrade them. But as you can see, we're now producing a number of products. And while we do have a little bit extra money, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a warehouse to increase my storage. Now, not everything grows at the same rate. You can see cows grow really slow, but wine goes really fast. So we want a little bit extra capacity so that we can sell on and sell a larger quantity at a higher price. So as you can see, we built a lot of things over here, which brought somebody else over. So let's go ahead and buy a orange here and then a juicer get that going and up start upgrading the stuff that we have available to us tier one stuff takes a lot shorter of a time to build than tier two things we have a bunch of sheep to level up as well and chickens now obviously the higher you produce things things or level them up the quicker they do produce and you can only level up a level tier thing to the highest level that the level one is so you can't just be leveling up level two without leveling up the level one which is why we're investing in that Lots of things are going to go well for us, but our operating costs are going to be rather high. You can see it jumped up from 0.4 to 2, which is pretty expensive, but we'll be able to make that up in the profit rings here shortly. Okay, so we are negative 38 ducats right now, and I want to upgrade a lot of the tier 2 things that have been completed. So let's go back to the market, go back up into uh, meats, start selling off some of these things. Amino acids do not sell well there. Let's see if we can beat 14. We can 18 is the highest sell it there cattle selling for 66 percent that brings us right back into the black and we'll look for a good price for sheep and poultry all oh, poultry 30 percent, absolutely 14 percent for sheep there we go and we'll sell off the rest of our goods and see what we have at the end okay so at the end of selling everything off we have 365 so let's go ahead and fully upgrade everything that we have currently built all right and now that everything's built let's move over to tier three and start working down leather we can build some designer handbags that's nice, but if we go down the textile, we could sell some designer suits with sell for 0.4. That's a great price. Well, let's buy three of these bad boys. Now, this will be a little bit expensive to get going, but once we do get them going, they're going to sell for a lot. Let's diversify a little bit by also selling some dresses. And let's go ahead and go back here. And we'll go ahead and sell a lot of these designer handbags. They will sell for a lot. Now, some things you're gonna need other products for, like I just know watches require steel. We're not producing any steel. So if we wanted to make watches, we're gonna need things on the market. Now for designer handbags, you're gonna need high quality linen. So let's go to the market really quickly. And if you don't buy them, you'll be auto buying them at four times the amount of price. So let's quickly go down here into the luxury goods high quality fabrics we need to find the cheapest price we can so let's switch to buy we're gonna buy like 1k tons and we're gonna look for the cheapest price for high quality fabrics we can get 1.7 is pretty good 1.7 it is so let's go ahead and buy a number of this and 26 should last us a good amount of time so again we're not auto buying them now we will go into the negative before any of this is done but again this stuff will produce we'll sell it off make more money buy more things upgrade more things and keep expanding that way now one thing i will say is space is limited so for a lot of these things you want to buy them quickly but at the same time you want to quickly get to research so that you can unlock things like mining because once you start mining things that's how you really get a lot of money the gold for instance sells for a lot so that's going to be our big priority is where you're going to get probably one more province and then we're going to pivot into buying research so you can see right now we need to buy silk apparel because we're auto buying that at four times the price which increases our operating expenses. Our operating expenses are very high at 30, 32 now. So let's go back to the market, sell off all of our goods, and then see if we can buy some silk and maybe do some more upgrades. Okay, so we have, after selling everything, we have 13K. We need to buy some silk. So let's look for that silk apparel. Let's look for a good price there. 0.4 is great. So let's go ahead and buy, not all, 1K tons, buy some silk apparel for our suits. There we go, 22 and let's go ahead and start upgrading what we have back to the investment get these bad boys leveled up and let's start buying some tier three stuff over here aged wine will sell for a lot wine is a great one just to have we have 967 left so let's go ahead and expand our empire once more look for a good spot with a lot of things open see if there's anything that we would like to buy that we're not already in the vertical of and i like to keep with animals because animals typically sell for a good amount 
but each time you play the amount the available resources each place will have will differ now we don't really want to build in a place with gold because i'd love to come back and build gold there what i'm really looking for is a place we can build pigs yeah so we can build pork here but checking the unrest it's actually okay let's go ahead and buy some pork and with the pork we're gonna get some canned meat now from here we want to start investing in research so let's go to a place we know was nice that we're gonna stick around for and buy a business research and then if we can afford it not quite i'd love to buy the university get some social research but we'll have to wait until the next go around for that so we'll let everything kind of build up from there see what kind of research we can unlock and then go forward from there operating costs are at 23 which is unfortunate but that's because our inflation is very high and climbing very fast Ooh, we can we, we can build more oranges over here i'm definitely gonna do that would love to build opium but we don't have the research for that so let's buy some oranges and fill that with juices the vitamin c will sell for a little bit more but the cocktails sell for more at the end and we're not right quite at pharmaceuticals yet so that'll be pretty good for us and then let's go ahead and just buy the cocktails at the tier three and we'll bank what we have as kind of operating costs a little bit more time to build, get this stuff up as well as upgrading the things that we have okay now we're auto purchasing yeast which we need to take care of so i'm just going to sell my luxury goods keep the, the the food up for now so we can sell that in larger quantity and let's see where we can buy oh my gosh let's sell dresses here that'll be great sell all sell our dresses our designer handbags our designer suits our feathers our leather and our textiles now we have ten thousand, so life is looking really good for us and now we can just go ahead and upgrade all of our stuff buy that second level of university in fact let's buy another one over here as well get research going a little bit more just double check to make sure that we're not missing anything that's all good there that's all good there I believe this one needed to be upgraded yep oranges and let's keep building what do we want to build here uh, i kind of want to just save until i have mining but we could get something let's just see if there's anything i want that you know what we don't have any goats let's buy goats and with goats we can get dairy from dairy we can get cheeses or gastrointestinal interesting let's buy more dairy here get some gastrointestinal oh we need the research for that so we'll just buy cheeses for now now you may be noticing we're running out of space to build in iraq that's okay once we get up to a certain point we can also go over here and buy a business license to work in another country that one will just come a little bit later once you are a successful enough business person to have that reputation so we'll just go ahead and continue on from here in fact let's build another university here and a little bit more storage so that will increase our operating costs even more but will increase the amount of research we're producing you can see we can buy our first level here get reduced maintenance costs by five percent so that's going to help us out a little bit there but inflation continues to keep growing at 87 percent which is not the best for us and let's go ahead and buy another giant thing of cattle here get more leather out there or actually let's sell some more food a lower cost product we'll go deli meat and then we'll go aged meat oh, and we need to buy yeast all right that should be enough yeast for us for now which will bring down our operating cost and now we just sit back and cruise for a little bit now one problem that we're having is we need to buy ethanol however ethanol is not a product that anyone's willing to sell us because the demand is so high so we need to start producing ethanol so we need to be racing down here to get to mining i don't think we can just no we have to follow the tree to get down there so let's go ahead start working our way for that warehouse cost reduction that's great so we're two away from getting to pharmaceutical and mining which is going to be the big game changer for us here so we just need to wait for our research to get to that point and once we do we're going to be in the money and it looks like we are at our maximum for a number of things. So we need to hit the market and just sell everything off. So let's see how much money we can get this time. Oh my gosh, what market are we in? The United States is just fuck wild this run. Typically prices aren't this good, but we're just going to be raking in the money right here. I mean, goodness gracious. You maybe see one of these categories at like 60%, not all of them. Also, I do think that sheep are bugged because I don't be, see I'm producing any sheep, but that's okay. I'll let the developer know. One thing I really love about the developer very rapid to respond popped in the chat super nice guy yeah everything over here is just amazing for us we sell everything here i don't know what we're doing in any other market everything just sells at such a high price we have twenty thousand dollars oh my goodness can we please get higher research so we can get to mining my goodness the moment we get to that we're gonna be so well off oh you can see that 
an adversary was trying to destabilize us which is just going to break uh, inflation higher and there's a high chance that our country gets invaded now if we get invaded it's not a big deal we don't lose the game because we're not the head of state we just become whoever invades us we go into their market now it doesn't mean we're going to lose the battle sometimes we win the battle which is nice now the other way you can deal with inflation is also selling to your market now while the united states is at such a high price i'd much rather sell here everything here but if we sold to the gcc that would lower the inflation but again money's talks and we're going to be spending the money on getting ourselves more money oh and in fact we are getting siege down here poor iraq's getting invaded by it looks like afghanistan so we'll see how that goes not gonna be good for us we also invested a little bit more storage so now we're up to 48 so we've got 20,000 in the bank if need be we can hold on to things for a little bit buy a little bit more storage if it looks like we're gonna lose this battle but let's see what we're doing over here I, well we're the ones invading i see so that's good for us if iraq wins this we can build over here as well which will just make us super rich okay good news for us pause the game we can now invest in pharmaceuticals and mining which is really good for us because we built if we go into the investment where did i build the amino acids here we go we can build this acid that sells for 4.5 oh my goodness that's gonna be so good for us and is there a tier four associated with that no there is not we can also go into all these places and start mining now i did see there was a place that was already mining uranium and i would love to find where that one went might have been looking at another country let's we'll see if we can mine gold and uranium look at that sells for 0.58 yep we're gonna buy a lot of gold over here and with the gold we are going to buy gold billions bullions if you will i don't know how to exactly say that but gold bricks and then from here we can either buy or sell luxury musician luxury musical instruments or designer watches we're gonna obviously sell designer watches they sell for 80 and what can we build over here more gold i'm actually gonna build titanium because i believe that goes to titanium alloy which then goes to a bunch of different things vehicle frames and what sells for the most let's see production is a little bit faster here but the maintenance is much higher this looks like the best thing turbine blades let's build more titanium over here and here's uranium let's buy a big thing of uranium here now uranium is not fully done we can't do enriched uranium either for right now we have to unlock further technology for that iron is one that we would really like is there anywhere we could build iron in bigger quantity it's like three is kind of it for us three is the highest can we build iron here iron here yes we'll build iron here now we want iron because we're gonna need steel in our production. So let's build steel and let's build watches. The production is good. I think we need watches anyways. I think we're built for our leather. What else can we build? We can build glass, which I know will sell for a good penny. And we can sell fiberglass and tempered glass. They sell for about the same. They basically have the same upkeep. So we'll just kind of do a mix and match of those. And let's buy some opium. Now I don't think we can make any, no. <laughs> Let us build anything off of opium dang it that's fine whatever and honestly i think we just keep building more gold and we'll build some gold jewelry over here just to diversify a little bit and designer accessories oh my gosh that's five thousand for one of those but look how much money you make my goodness okay so we don't we've wasted all of our money on gold but once we have it to sell we have it to sell and in fact we should sell right now because we are very much almost maxed out on stock should we upgraded to 48 so we'll wait a little bit hopefully this war goes well for us so we can build stuff over here how's the war going looks like we're winning it that's great now you can't build anywhere that there is war going on oh we do need to build ethanol so as soon as this is done we need to build ethanol here this fight actually can we build it here not excuse me i'm trying to get to the war natural gas oh shoot we need drilling so we need that to get ethanol so we stopped buying it on the market and also selling for a lot too and we're gonna go back to the united states who's just buying everything at such a high quantity and sell off our goods we're already maxed out on a number of things so we'll go down the list and sell everything here i don't know what event triggered this but i love it okay we can get oil and gas industry so let's get that going ah oh, missed out on that opportunity but we can build natural gas here which then will allow us to build ethanol which we know we need and then we can build something over here my goodness what is the tier three 1.1 whatever that is we're buying it and we're golden is there anything else we can build no nope. that's it okay so that's it for our country here we do have a lot of money 
We can open a business relation in Kuwait. Does that get us anything? It gets us like one territory. Not the most helpful, but it is 27, so we might as well. And what can we build here? I'm gonna get more natural gas and more ethanol. Every market needed ethanol. So we'll definitely do that and buy some more research along the way. And you can hear the Congos of things getting done. I love that sound effect. Go back to the investment mode. At this point, it's basically every county. Start investing this stuff. As you can see, this up, up leveling up watches, designer watches is very expensive, but that's okay. We have the money for it. Ooh, and we can build CPUs. Yes, please. You require the correct social research. Dang it. What about designer sunglasses? And I guess we'll go building resources or roofs, roofing solution for now level up these bad boys they're gonna make me a lot of money i know it and that is everything leveled up with four thousand left oh perfect timing rising housing costs increase for more infrastructure so the roofing solution is gonna be worth even more glucose glucose civil bullion so let's go buy those things i'm just gonna sell everything again to the united states my generous friend over here and stockpile a few things oh no our cash cow ran out no oh. wait i was in the wrong market cash cow still here okay so we needed glucose oh, wait we still have more things to sell excuse me how rude of me oh we're not that's not done building belt yet all right so we have 130,000. looking pretty good for us we forgot the oranges to sell that's okay so now we need to go through the things that we need to buy so let's uh unpause the game here wait for the buying orders to tell us what we're missing glucose silver bullion okay glucose we also could use some more high quality fabrics Wait, we bought ethene we need ethanol where do we get ethanol from is it from ethene we need to buy another market oh no we can't is anyone willing to sell me ethanol what would it be under and the other thing we need to do is start investing in military research so we can unlock the uranium that will sell for a the enriched uranium because that will sell for a lot taxes and inflations are both down we have a number of things we actually need to sell already back to the usa cash cow go down this list all right so we're at a half a million things are looking okay other than the fact that we are contained with what we can build which i do not like let's get some more warehouses out there see what our research available options uh more space bomb purchase wish i had done that first whoops -a daisies and we'll start accumulating military research as well what do we need for enriched uranium i believe it's down here not sure we'll continue on all right so we need ethanol methanol i forgot about that ethanol methanol asphalt shingles all right so the only thing we're all buying is methanol because we can't buy it anywhere no one will sell it to us the monsters Ooh, market logistics charge reduced from 25 to 20 heck yeah we'll just keep working our way down these research trees oh and we can build stuff in russia absolutely russia is now available to us and <laughs> things are about to go wild here we're gonna build so much in russia Let's just check the unrest. Okay, so we don't want to build in those two, but other than that, looks like we're fine. So we'll build some copper here with some copper pipes. Water purification. Now, what do we get from electrical wiring? Power cells. Oh yeah. Oh, military research. Dang it. We're working on it. Okay. We're producing like 20 more items. We barely put a dent in the money we have, but at the same time, I got tired of clicking. Plus I want to see what we need to produce to make sure that we're not buying a lot of things. So. We'll zoom until these things are completed, upgrade these things and see what we need to be uh, investing in. Okay. So now we have a bunch of things we're not producing that we need to be producing. So we're gonna go through and upgrade everything that we can over here and figure out where we can get some of this stuff from. Okay. We're producing a lot. We're still buying a lot. Can't figure out where half the stuff comes from. I think it's oil and gas, which is the problem. We're building a lot of the things that we need though. Need to hear the Congo of things getting upgraded going through. We need a lot more storage. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a nightmare to upgrade everything. But you can see we're producing basically everything the world has. The only thing we're struggling to find is oil and gas. It would be nice to have a feature where you could click on like, let's say iron, and it would show you where the iron availability is in the world. Because right now it's just like clicking and guessing and clicking and guessing. And I think I solved my own problem. You can see the climate here is different. That's how we're getting a lot of the stuff that we need. I don't know if we need any nickel. We just need everything. How do we get polyester? I don't know. Probably oil. <laughs> build more oil. Build more everything. But you can see my investment map mode is going quite crazy right now with everything that we are building. I'm assuming at some point we're going to need nickel. Just buy it. Buy everything. Chlorine! It's made from salt, of course. Let's go. Another one solved. Asparagus terrarius? <laughs> no. No, the list does never end. Also, let's, uh, let's wreck the world right now and just sell everything we have 
I'll see you guys in a minute. Keep in mind, we're at 461,000. All right, so we're at a mild 2 million. Our operating costs are rather high. We uh, need to start upgrading everything, but I'm just going to build for a little bit more before we do. Because there's still a few things I think we need. Like, we're not building any of this, which turns into aluminum, which turns into a lot of things. By metal casting. Uh, automotive body parts. TNT we need. Oof, life's going to go crazy for a little bit. And let's continue to keep working down the resource tree. You can see we've added even more resources. I think there's some stuff we just can't buy based off the climate. Like I, I think rubber, I don't think we can buy in Russia or Iraq. So we're gonna be a little bit stuck on some of that stuff. I think that comes from penicillin. I'm not 100% sure. En enriched uranium. We can build your enriched uranium. Hold on. Where was our enriched uranium one? Our uranium. Here we go. We can, can we enrich? Yes, we can. At least we can take care of that problem. And. We can build power cells over here and we can't do anything beyond that. Hey, at least we took care of one. But at this point, how is everything doing? Inflation's good. We don't really need to get into politics. Let's just go to the United States and uh, get ready to sell all. Although we're trying to get down to, oh, human cloning, that'll be fun, to auto sell, which will really kind of change the market for us. But for the meantime, we're going to go back to the market and sell everything. BRB. Okay, so we're now at almost 5 million life is looking good for us oh we can open a business relation with iran that's really good excuse me what the nation's closed off to foreigners dang it we need to be in this dark brown somewhere because that's where we can get at least one of the items we're missing this guy it's a mushroom i figured that one out and it only grows the dark brown so we can't get in any of the places we're in along with the rubber which is a little bit unfortunate how close are we to getting auto cell auto cell is almost there and what is our storage capacity at these days? 253. So we're gonna have to sell everything again. Fortunately for us, it's pretty simple because we can just sell everything here in this one market because it seems to have broken. At some point there was a thing saying, hey, they're no longer importing, which is why everything's high, but it's never gone away. And somehow we've been able to sneak into the market even though where we started in Iraq. Don't get me wrong, we're not complaining. It makes things a lot easier having, rather than having to go through each individual market. And we're at 8 million. Huzzah. And we can unlock auto sell, which is going to sell everything off. We no longer have to worry about buying. Now, unfortunately, oh, never mind. That research path was not available a second ago. It unlocked itself. Sometimes the research gets stuck. Again, this is a uh, demo, not fully done yet. But there we go. We're richer than rich. Nobody could stop us. What are we going to do with this power? Get into politics. I want to become the leader of Russia. We need to be at least average national unrest needs to be five. Oh, we need to destabilize things let's find a bill that's gonna make everyone mad let's see hrs 115 increase the unrest by one in all territories absolutely increase by unrest in four absolutely we're forced labor practices oh no only authoritarian we can't do that one okay unrest by three we need more influence all right we'll wait for more influence to come in see if we can get some more influence anywhere uh, we cannot for the time being. What is this about? Auto purchase and cost decrease. Oh my gosh, that'd be great for us because there's some things, again, we can't just uh, sell or make. So wait for our influence to go up. We're going to be a, a player here in the Russia in the Russia influence. Our current influence is only 68,000. We need 75% of the maximum influence. I don't know what that is. I'm imagining it's around 20,000. So we'll wait for that kind of influence. And then we'll push for that and see if we can destabilize all of Russia. There we go. Auto purchase cost decreased. That's a lot better. We can also increase production by 5%. Another good one for us. Allows one more ally. Doesn't really do a lot. Influence party gained or influence gained by party donations. I don't really want to donate to the party to be straightforward with you. How much influence do we have? Do we have enough? Yes. Unrest by three. What's the unrest at? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody calm down. Unrest. It looks like it's enough. It looks like we can potentially do it. Increase unrest by four. How much do I need for that? Well, we need maximum un um, influence to get to become the head of state. So we're going to have to wait on that. I think we have five everywhere. Hard to tell, but I think orange is five. Let's see, seven there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely increased unrest enough. So we, now we just wait. We play the waiting game until we get to 24 
or 244,000 um, influence. And then we can just kind of make our way from there. And I've gone ahead and increased our storage capacity a little bit more. Because even though we have auto sell on, it doesn't sell everything. Because obviously some things you need for other things. There's a production chain that this game has. So there'll be a little bit left over that we will need to sell. Our operating costs are about 12,000 or 1,200 right now. But other than that, things are going rather fine for us. Any research we would like, let's continue down, see if there's anything available to us. We could get transportation load increase, absolutely. And then uh, party influence, sure. We could get a lot by finishing up up here too. And then as long as we get these two, we should be able to be fine. Let's get military loyalty, sure. And then allows nuclear weapons, which is disabled during the demo. Ah, boo, boo. I'm very excited for when that comes out though. Oh, and BT dubs, we have availability to Iraq. I didn't realize Iraq had finished their war with Afghanistan. Completely forgot about this. What's the climate over here? Are they those dang mushrooms? No, <laughs> frick. Oh no. Oh no, people have already built over here. Is there anything we can build that we need? We can build uranium. So we're buying enriched uranium, which we don't want to do. Because that is expensive. You can see missing enriched uranium was auto-purchased. So need to stay on top of that a little bit more. Yeah, so here's where we build rubber is down here. So we'll never be able to buy that. But we're fixing our enriched uranium and silica stone. Uh, it's a shame. If you do start off on Iraq, know that you could build the mushrooms in the brown stuff. Wait a minute. That's Iran. Darn it. I was about to say, we can't build in Iran. We've already built everything in Iraq. And unfortunately, there's no way for you to tear down buildings once they're already built. So that's a little bit of a shame. I hope that feature gets changed. Well, let's go ahead and sell everything we have and see if we can get close to a million dollars. Okay, we made $1.4 million. Now, I'm going to be straightforward with you. You can go down whatever path you want, but I'm going to tell you the most, the highest selling things that you can get is the luxury goods. The luxury goods is what's really going to make you your money. The biggest things that's going to make you money is designer watches. I don't know how to get the designer accessories. I forgot where that was, but designer watches, gold, and then the gold billions. Those are the, really the only things you need to make money in this game. Everything else will give you a little bit, but those ones really move the numbers. We are almost at maximum. Let me get this. I want to become the leader of Russia so bad. It's only like a month or two away. Okay, we have maxed out. Enabling that, consolidate power for yourself, making you the head of state. Yes, congratulations, you are now the head of state. Many lives were lost during the rise of power. Wait, did I become the head of state of Iraq? Wait, no, it was Russia, it was Russia. Okay, so an Iraqi take becomes head of state in Russia. Let's go. Now there's a lot more fun things that we can explore. Now that we have this, including our armed forces, let's go ahead and show support for the military, absolutely. Special forces is not available during the demo. But that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. This is such a fun game. If you're new to playing, I highly recommend slowly going through one vertical and finding out what materials you need from another vertical, unlike myself who just bought oranges and cows and everything like that. But if you want to see what this game looks like from the military standpoint, let me know in the comments down below. If there's enough interest, we will continue this campaign through uh, the, the viewpoint of the head of nation another regional strike let's go that's huge that was the event that gave us the usa market for basically forever but that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed this let me know leave a like down below if you're new around here subscribe for more I put it videos every day but for now boys i will see you in the next one